Hello fellow Blenders, this is Peter here with PM Designs. In this video I'm going to introduce you to this um, add-on called Rig a Car. It's a wonderful piece of kit. Um, very easy to rig a car to get it moving quite nicely and the, the wheels are already constrained so they follow when you when you move the car along. You can yeah, adjust the turning steering on the car. You can adjust the, well, you can play with the suspension of the car. Wonderful piece of kit. Um, so I'll just get straight on with it first. I'm just going to delete this. So we can start from the beginning. We can head over to GitHub, which that's where I found it, but um, maybe it's located in other places or other websites, and just search for Rigger Car and you'll find it. I'll put a link in the description. It's Digi Creatures Rigger Car. Download the zip, head back over to Blender, and install the add-on. If you don't know how to do that, I'll just quickly show you. You go to where you keep your add-ons and find that Rigger Car. Don't unzip the just keep the zip file in your folder and install it just like that and then enable it so then now comes the kind of long part I'm not going to do it in the long way but it's going to take you a little while to do um, there is a website if you if we, when you open the zip file there's a readme which has a, a link to a website which gives very detailed instructions on how to do it which I followed and I found that it didn't really work a hundred percent so I recommend you do things the way I'm going to show you now you need to name nine you need to have nine parts of your car named a certain way um so you can't I've, I've just put all this as one one object of all the doors and all the windows don't move they're just attached if you did want to have like a, a bonnet which opened or tuck doors which open windows which slide up and down you'd need to you know keep them as separate objects but just make sure they're parented to the main body of the car and that's exactly what we're going to call it we need to title these things we need to name these things a specific way so I've called my Dodge dot body. It's just called Dodge because it's a Dodge tra uh, Challenger. You can call it whatever you want. You could call it my car, my dream car, my um, whatever extension of my ego. Uh, but you just have to make sure that you've got dot body and the body is written with a uppercase B, a capital B. On the website, it says it doesn't matter about case uppercase or lowercase. It also says that as long as you separate the words, it doesn't matter how. So if you separate with a hyphen and underscroll, or a period, full stop, whatever you call it, it doesn't matter. But when I did it, it didn't seem to work. So I recommend just do it this way. Capital B on body and use period or full stop to separate the words. Then start with the wheels. Wheel has to be name of your car dot wheel dot ft dot L. Again, I, I do recommend capital W, capital F, capital L. And I recommend just dot 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 in between those even I don't know, maybe I, I missed something, but the website said it doesn't matter, but it seemed to matter. FT is for the front, so for the, the one on the right side, that would be FT.R. This is FT.L. On this side, we got BK. Yeah, so it's dodge.wheel.bk.l. Yeah, big W, big B, big L. And same for the, the right side, BK.R. You also need to name the brakes. I don't, I don't know much about cars. These, I believe these are called calipers or disc brakes or something. Uh, you need to name these accordingly as well. So this needs to be dodge.wheelbrake.ft.l. And again, after experiments today, I found that using a big W and a big uh, big B seemed to work. So yeah, uppercase W, uppercase B, uppercase F, uppercase L. And so front left, FTL. Front right, FT.R. Back left, BK.L back right bk.r then you need to set the origin points of all of these it, it does seem to matter the origin point for the car should actually be somewhere about here but i i just gave up trying to get it there because i don't actually have anything inside this car yet to really help me get the 3d cursor there so i've got my origin point for the car there the wheels need to have the origin point in the center on all the wheels and the brakes need to be the origin point needs to be at the same location as the relative wheel yeah so that's my wheel origin point that's my disc brake origin exactly the same it can be slightly offset but it's just easy to put them in the same place once you've got the 3d cursor there so once you've got it all named correctly and the origin points are right also you need to make sure that the object this is this doesn't say this on the website but it seemed to make it work for me today it wasn't working that well until i did this 
make sure that the object name is the same. So you know when you when you title your object, usually there's still it's still called like a sphere in the object property or cube or whatever. But so I just copied and pasted that into here, and it, it seemed to make something work for some reason. So once you've got that in place, you've got everything in place. You've got them all named correctly. You've got all the titles copied into the object data properties. You need to select all by pressing A or however you want to do it. And then we're going to add an object. We're going to add an armature. Oh, first thing. Yeah, OK. Add an armature. Car deformation rig. Once you've installed the add-on, it will come up here. And there you go. Yes, it worked. OK. It seems to be a bit hit on this sometimes. I don't know why. If I just pop into edit mode, you can see that, yeah, it's all in the right place. The The wheel brakes and the wheel bones are in the same place. So if I actually just select this one somehow and hide it, you can see that, that the, the other one is hidden behind it. And the main route needs to be roughly in the center of your car and just to the back of the car. So that will make the drift work. And that's it. It's all good. Go back into object mode. And this is this is basically a rigify thing, but what you know when you use a meta rig and you can click rigify, you still have the meta rig here. When you do it with this one, you will you will lose this original meta rig, as it were. So, but no big deal. So that's it. You go to generate, and there you go. For some reason, it jumps forward. I don't know why, but it's all rigged now. It's ready to go. Yeah. So the suspension's working. The individual suspension can be adjusted. The wheels can be adjusted. Uh, and then you've got this, this great drift um, control and then the, 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 the steering at the front. So to make the wheels um, engage, as it were, to make the wheels follow along as you move this route, you just need to come up here, and once again, still in your rigger car um, toolbar, and just change this wheels on y-axis, change this to one. Okay, it's, it's just binary. Zero is off and one is on. So now one is on. And when I move this guy on the y-axis, the wheels are going to roll along. It's a wonderful, wonderful piece of kit. I highly recommend, if you're rigging a car, I highly recommend you get it. You can try and follow the instructions on the, the um, website, and maybe you'll have better luck than I did, or just do exactly as I said, and just name them the exact way, apart from dodge, obviously, unless you've got a dodge. Um, name them the exact way that I said it, and don't forget to copy the titles into the object data properties down here object mode down here so this doesn't say cube or sphere or cylinder anymore it says the same thing as what this says and you should be all good to go if you found that useful please drop a like and i'll give you a link in the description to the website to download the add-on wonderful piece of kit take care bye bye